Alright, so this is going to be a video about the rumored Samsung Galaxy Tab S3 and Apple's new iPad Air 3 is rumored to be coming out on the 18th of March. Actually, that's the announcement date, the release date I'm not sure of at this moment, but Samsung wants to make a tablet to compete with that. Tab S2 was supposed to compete with that um, when they were making an Air 3, but I have kind of a rant about the Tab S2, which I'm going to bring up a little bit later. The Tab S3 is going to have the same um, resolution as the iPad and the Tab S2, the same screen size, and there's actually a leaked benchmark here, 3D graphics performance, and as you can see, it's also 3 gigs of RAM, as it seems, which um, I'll rant about the specs later. It's going to have a Snapdragon 652, which it does sound like a mid-ranger, but it does have four ATEX A72 cores and four A53 cores. But um, So it should perform pretty decent, but I'm actually not going to believe this. And the previous processor on the Tab S2 was a Exynos 5, 5433 processor, which the 700, I believe it's the one on the S7 is going to be an... Exynos 8, whereas the S6 had an Exynos 7, I believe it was, 7420. But what I have to say is, um, I don't believe this anymore. It's been three generations of Samsung tablets I'm making the specs seem better than they actually are. My rant about the Tab S, I own the first Tab S. Um, this was when TouchWiz was a piece of shit. You can argue it's still a piece of shit, but not as big of a piece of shit, and many people actually now like the new TouchWiz, so I'll leave that for discussion. Um, my Tab S, it was my first Samsung product, or first Samsung tablet or phone, and I really liked it. It performed pretty great. The only problem was, no matter what I did, Chrome was consistently slow. Chrome lagged every time I scrolled up and down, but the rest of the tablet was fine. Eventually, after a couple months, the gallery started to get slow. You click on a picture, and it would take a couple seconds longer to load. Menus would, and every so often, the thing would freeze, and God, it did piss me off. And considering it had such great specs, the specs were actually considered low end. It's just the RAM made it perform somewhat decent. Yes, putting Engine mod did improve the performance, but there still is a bit of lag here and there, and now I, I still currently do use that tablet. The Tab S2, the Galaxy Tab S2 came out, and I was thinking, hey, this is a nice tablet. I probably won't upgrade because of the price and all, but the specs seem to be updated and all. But when I went to use that thing, and none of the reviews said this, but when I went to use it and I looked on the XDA developers, people were complaining about the lag. I went to a store before knowing about the XDA developers page about it. I went there to... um to a store, played with the Tab S2, and I was like, this is great, the performance seems to be improved. I didn't click on the web browser or anything, but this is something that they did complain about on the XDA forum, which I found out after my second experience with the Tab S2. It was at a different store. It was at a Best Buy this time. I was getting a charger for my Tab S because my thing, my charger stopped working, so I went to get a six foot charger there it was pretty decent i went there and i was like hey why, why not just check out the tablets it was pretty fast and they're sure the animations are a bit slow like all samsung devices from my experience but you can always just turn them off like i have done on my lg phone which definitely that phone wasn't slow to begin with but did improve the performance quite a bit um when I went on there, I believe I quick went in the internet browser and searched Samsung phones or something. I searched that, and after doing so, I it loaded after a couple seconds with the internet there, and it was just very slow. The internet on that device was just painfully slow, to be honest. And not the internet as in the Wi-Fi there, the internet browser itself. Scrolling felt laggy. I mean, it was bad. It was like Chrome's performance on the original Tab S. And this was not even Chrome. This was the stock Samsung browser. It felt slow. Um, bringing up the keyboard, like tapping the address bar, bringing up the keyboard felt a bit laggy. And then after from there, once I went home, it felt smooth again. But then sliding down from the top and notification center felt laggy. And I'm like, how are people trick? How is Samsung tricking people into thinking this is good? No review I saw of this thing mentioned any lag, but then I went on the XDA developers. Everyone's comparing, 
complaining about the lag of the device. And what I have to say about this, Android tablets, Samsung tablets, Android tablets, well, we need more high-end ones to compete with Apple, but Samsung, you got to stop tricking people with these high-end tablets. They're not high-end, no matter how... Just because they're $500 does not mean they perform that great. Yes, you if you can make a phone like the Galaxy S6, which performs basically as good as the iPhone 6. Sure, it's not as good, but I mean, you know what I mean. In basic usage, real-world usage, it performs pretty decently. You should be able to do the same with your tablets. I've experienced... I never had that much lag on my Note 4, never had that much lag on my Tab S, but for some reason, going on the Tab S 2... It was just painful, and it seemed like the Tab S2 had gotten slower than the original, and it's running the lighter TouchWiz, and it actually had the updated one from the Note 5 with the rounded icons, and what do I have to say about this? I gotta say, Samsung, if you really want to make a high-end tablet, you know, you should just use the same specs as your current phone, the S7, maybe even bump them up a bit, make the specs slightly better, so you can have more performance on a tablet, and I really... I th really think that would be a good device that I would buy. Make it $100 more expensive or something. I would buy that. I really think it would be not a $100, probably $50 more than the current ones. I would probably buy that. But these uh, tablets, calling them the high-end ones when they still lag, are painfully bad. And I've used their, I've used the low-end Samsung tablets. Those were just... I'm not even going to explain how painfully slow those were. I've seen no name brand tablets that are an eighth of the price that cost bit or that perform better than those uh, low end Samsung tablets. But this, this one, the Tab S2, I feel the Tab S3 using these shitty processors, the six Snapdragon 652, you're gonna find in low end phones. Keep in mind the Galaxy S4 had a Snapdragon 600. It performed good if you put a custom ROM on it, but. How many ROMs are going to be made for this thing? Galaxy S4, most popular phone when it came out. Galaxy Tab S2, not that popular. I believe there's a CyanogenMod mod for it, just like the original one, but it took a couple months to make, and I just don't think it's going to be worth it, honestly. I feel these Samsung, you guys really should just make a better tablet and make better specs in these tablets. Sure, specs aren't all, but if you're going to... For the third time in a row, I'm not going to be tricked into thinking specs are all. If you're, if this is going to be another laggy piece of garbage, I really feel the same. And considering it's just going to look the same as the Tab S2, just a spec upgrade, I have no problem with that because the Tab S2 looked pretty good. But you know what I also have to say? Oh yeah, here's some more things I have to mention. Bring back the haptic feedback. I was playing on that thing, and I believe I clicked the menu button, or the little recent apps button to switch between it, and I was like, why is there no vibration? Well, looked in the settings, searched for vib vibration, a quick Google search on the laggy-ass internet browser, tried scrolling down to an article, seeing if they had it. By Sure, by the time I had scrolled three times with my finger, it had gone down to the bottom of the page, even though, even though I lightly scrolled down. Then tried scrolling up, barely even worked. By the time I got into the internet browser, I found out, well, they got rid of the haptic feedback, something I actually used. And then typing on the keyboard, that is something. Typing on it again, I noticed, where's the haptic feedback? Normally you'll find, like, the many Android tablets don't have it. Well, the original Tab S had it, so there's no reason the Tab S2 shouldn't have it. Also, taking away the flash, the, f the flash on my Tab S, the... On the camera, sure, I don't take pictures, I use it as a flashlight, but the flash actually stopped working on my Tab S, so after a couple months, the, the flash just stopped working, so, well, I kind of forgot about not having a flash, but that would be nice if they could bring it back. It seems like the Tab S2 is, and the Tab S3 are just downgrades from the original, and if they release the original with metal, or metal sides and upgraded specs, and I mean like upgrade to the specs of their flagship phones, they would have a winner on their, on their end and not these fails failures. I really feel like I want these things, but I know the performance of them is terrible. Another last thing I have to mention, why are flagship Android phones more powerful than flagship Android tablets? It honestly makes no sense. I think of a tablet when I use it, I think I'm going to do a lot of multitasking, a lot of um, 
heavier things, more apps open on a tablet because bigger screen, bigger possibilities. I feel I would rather have that. Kind of like what Apple does. They make the, they give the X processors, the A9X to the iPads and the, just the A9 to the phones. I really feel that's a step in the right direction. Maybe 5 gigs of RAM for the tablets, 4 for the phones. I, I honestly don't see why the phones are more powerful than the tablets. I just... That is something that confuses me to this day, and Samsung, you gotta fix this. This sh this is complete bullshit at this point. Yes, they're good tablets, but the performance of these things is just painfully bad. Yes, your your new skin of TouchWiz is great, but I think you guys should work on it even further to improve it. Like I was, like was like it was rumored on the S7. But what what do I have to say? Um, Samsung, really, I think, um, this thing, you might as well just not release it at all, or if you're gonna release it, release it actually good, and if the performance of this thing actually tends to be somewhat decent, I'll, or no, not even somewhat decent, if it turn, if it shows to be great, yeah, then I'll probably upgrade to this, but if it see if it just isn't our Samsung's gimmicky bullshit, um, using their using the excuse of how many cores they have to make it seem better than it actually is, like they did with the Tab S and the Tab S2 by giving it a shitty processor, but giving it nice um, cores, whatever. I don't even give a fuck about the specs. I just want it, I just want it to perform well. That's another problem I have. I don't care how how good your GPU is or how much RAM you have. I want it to perform well, which the Tab S2 and the Tab S have not. The Tab S Two seems to perform better than the Tab S, but I don't know. Also, the battery. Your Apple's batteries are just better than Samsung's for tablets. I'm sorry. And this is coming from someone who has experienced the iPhone 4S's battery life, which was awful. But what I have to say, the iPad, we already know, is the king of battery life for tablets, but the Samsung tablet can't even get half of what the iPad can get with battery. I think this is a complete failure and sure this article I'll leave this um I'll leave this here below and actually you can see the um performance of these things from the leak benchmarks is not even that much better. It's it's not even that much better to be honest. Um the actually the 9.7 inch phone is, or 9.7 inch tablet's actually getting um, more performance than the um, 8.0 inch one, but what do I have to say? Uh, I just think you guys should just make the same exact specs as the Tab S or the Galaxy S7 or the Note 6, whatever your next phone is going to be, and call that a phone. Call that a high end tablet because this is not high end. Sure, it's high end for a shitty tablet, which we've had shitty ta Android tablets over the years. It seems like Sony's the only company that's taking Android tablets seriously. And not even that serious because they're still hard to find. But once you do get one, they're pretty good. That's all I have to say. What are your thoughts of the um, Samsung tablet lineup currently? I feel the high end, their low end tablets are selling great, but their high end ones, there's tons of work they need to be doing um, to make them good again. That's all I have to say. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.